What is up, y'all? Welcome back to the MG Super Truck Series here on Fox. We are going to the Lone Star State. Well, third time going to the Lone Star State. Second time going to TMS here. As uh, we get ready to kick things off, Val Wolf on the pole. Latina Gordon on her outside. How about that for girl power? We've been starting one, two. Jack Sprague and Derek Cope starting P3 and P4. Ron Hornaday Jr. Matt Crafton behind them. So uh, we're going to do this highlight style yet again. So there's the green flag. We're racing. It's the opening lap. We're going to get a nice flyby here. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Off turn number two for the first time. Wolf clears for the lead. Contact with the wall further back. Truck's starting to fan out, but we're still good. Oh, we're not good. Couple on the apron. Look out, look out, look out. Alright, we're good, we're good. Leading lap one. Val Wolf, your leader. Valve looking very strong so far here today. Multiple drivers have come and gone, but nobody able to catch that 97 truck. She's out in front, but she's got some challenge from behind. That's the 30 of Typo 9 with a run, but he's got the 7 to his inside. It's like every time somebody gets a chance to go up there and fight for that lead, another driver tries to take it from him. So we see it again right there, Derek Cope. Just moved by Travis Quapple, and now he's got his teammate, Eric Darnell, in the 99 underneath. It's going to be three wide through one and two. And the caution is out. Let's see what it's for. Brian Sockwell back there, minding his own business. Brian Silas as well. See who done it. Who brought out the yellow? Looks like it might have been. No, not crafting. Oh, whoa, whoa, there it is. Brendan gone upside down and rolling down the backstretch here at Texas. Wow. Man, a wild ride for Brendan gone. See what? Got him sideways here. Oh, we got into the back of McDowell. Sent him across the nose of Chapman and into the wall. Up and over. Craig Kenser gets caught up in it as well. 78, Chapman just kind of had nowhere to go. And look at Gon stuck on his side there. Wow, what a position to be in. Man. So that's what brings out the first caution of the day. Now Wolf continues to lead. We're going to go green. Green flag back in the air. Look at the jump the 30 got on the outside. Top of the your new leader. Heading down into turn one as he clears that 97 truck. Johnny Chapman. That's what his, that's his name. Okay. Wait, but it's a G Chapman. Wait. Huh? I'm confused. Hang on, folks. We're gonna figure this out right here, right now. Let's see who drove that. Number 78. Johnny Chapman. It looks like they just put the wrong name up there or something. I don't know. But his name is Johnny Chapman. I uh, hear it says G Chapman. I've been saying the wrong name all season. Oh, huge wreck. Oh my goodness. Their tr trucks are piling in. They are wrecking everywhere. Goodness. That broke out out of nowhere. It's Willie Allen. Oh man. Among many others involved. Let's see what caused this one. 
Jack Sprague seems to, oh, Rick Crawford got turned sideways into Sprague. Sprague back up the track and in the traffic, collecting a bunch of them. Joey Clanton's around, and the 91 piles in. Matt Crafton, look at the, the 17, the 8 sliding. He hits Ken Weaver, who just won at Talladega. Brian Silas. A.J. Allmendinger's destroyed. Look at jo uh, Joey Clanton driving away from that one. Chad McCombie's got some damage. The 91 of J.C. Stout is killed. Man, that broke out extremely fast. Things change in a heartbeat here from Texas Motor Speedway. They say everything is bigger and badder in Texas. Looks like that applies to the Rex as well. Look at Terry Cook involved. A couple cars tried to sneak by on the high side, and it closed up up there as well. Dennis Setzer, oh, some cars still, or truck still got up into the wall hard. I believe that was Brian Silas. Oh, man. Yeah, Silas hit hard. Wow. Talk about getting chaotic. Hard into the inside wall for the 18 of Ken Schrader. He started bunching them up. On the top, they kept hitting. Man, I mean, it's a junkyard. Look at that. Michael McDowell sitting there. Jack Sprague, Craig Kinzer, David Starr. I mean, everywhere we look, there's more. There's Chapman right there. Brian Silas Crab walking it away from the wreck. Willie Allen, you see him right there. Ken Weaver. I mean, there are trucks on top of trucks on top of trucks. Blake Borkland. Tim Sauter. Ryan Sockwell escapes. Okay, Terry Cook with some heavy left side damage. I mean, there are trucks everywhere involved. But that's going to bring out another caution. Here we go. Green flag is back in the air. We're racing yet again. We've lost about a quarter of the field from that one. Three wide off turn two. Three and four. Oh, contact. They're going to save it. Oh, man, the 30 getting bold. Shoves his nose in there. Val Wolf had no choice but to move up. And they're going to be three wide heading into one and two. Loyal push from that 23 of Johnny Benson right behind the 30 of Bodine. And now here comes that inside line yet again. They're going to push the 7 truck up out of the way here off turn number 4. Moves him to the top. Here comes Bodine. Here comes Johnny Benson. Here comes the 33 of Hornaday. They're 3 wide for the lead in the 1 and 2. Tina Gordon stuck up top. Contact behind. Tyler Walker's going to save it. Oh, they're in the wall. The 7 truck got the wall. So did the 31. They're both going to... It was a lot of speed. Where is Aaron Fight going? He's down on the apron. He's going to have to check up big time. That's going to stack the field up yet again. At least the guys behind. How about the 15 of Nate Monteith? Up inside the top five. Oh, Hornaday hits the wall. Val Wolf back out in front. The 40 of Clay Rogers hits the apron. Big checkup behind him. As we jump forward a little more. Oh, that 23 truck is killed. Okay, watching Johnny Benson here. Looks like he's looking to make a move underneath the 4 truck and he's going to hook him. Mike Bliss. No, doesn't. He doesn't. He's good. Oh, a lap truck. That's the... Oh, oh my goodness. An extremely hard impact. Chad McCombie being split by the field. Got hooked down the racetrack into... Who was that? That's Brian Sockwell down on the bottom. Oh, man. Sockwell was running at the very back of the field. and Oh, my goodness. That is an extremely hard impact. That truck is killed. He's just down on the bottom. Trying to get by. 
We saw him earlier at the very tail end of the field, out of the draft, just minding his own business. Small team. We don't see them make it to the track that often. If they do, they haven't really, they don't, aren't really able to qualify for these races. Finally able to make one, and man, lap traffic. Oh, hard hits for Sockwell and Benson and Chad McCumbie. Just nowhere else he could go. I mean, he got split by the leaders there, and those drivers couldn't avoid. Let's go on board with Benson. I mean, he had to... There's no way he could have seen that coming. He had to have just been sitting there, minding his own business. Lap truck was inside, and then... Boom! Oh, man! Wow. A really hard impact. Glad these guys are okay. Their trucks aren't, but they are. You can always get another truck, can't get another uh, you. So, green flag back in the air. Val Wolf and another great jump on the restart. Clears the 33 of Ron Hornaday Jr. Hornaday now trying to defend against three wide behind him. Aaron Fike had a good run, but loses that momentum on the top, heading through one and two. Fike now hops in line. The trucks bouncing off the wall. Can Val hang on and win her third race of the year? Here comes Ted Musgrave looking to the inside. He's trying to win one. Another one, I should say. Here comes the four with a push from the 36. truck being driven by Mike Bliss this week. Bliss to the inside of Hornaday. Here comes the six of Quaffle with a run. Three wide underneath Bliss and the championship points leader Ron Hornaday Jr. We're going to jump through a little more. Caution is out yet again. Let's see what it's for this time. Oh, checking up for lap trucks. Quapple is sent down the racetrack, saves it. So we're still good there. However, oh, it's Tyler Walker and Aaron Fike that get together, and around they go. Rick Crawford and a bunch of them. And Fike about got turned over. And if I could get my camera on the guys that are wrecking back there, cars kept flying by like they ain't got brakes. Oof, man. There you go. Now you can see what happened. Clay Rogers. That truck has got even more damage on it now. Aaron Fike is destroyed. Gonna be a late race restart here as Travis Quapple tried to take the race lead. Here we go. Green flag back in the air. Quapple. Here comes Mike Skinner looking low. We're going to be three wide for the race lead. And there he turns one and two. Skinner takes it to the inside. Three wide and he's going to take the point. Skinner goes to the point. Tavo Dine following through. Toyota's working together. One, two. The 07 of Tim Sauter's into the mix. Talk about an underdog story for Tim. Here is Here comes the 31 of Tina Gordon as well with now three laps to go. Three wide for the lead. Tim Sauter is going for it. Sauter going to the point from Texas. Contact with the wall. Mike Skinner falling back. Here comes Hornaday. He passes Quapple yet again. Three wide for the lead. Val Wolf trying to push Tina Gordon to the front. Women sticking together, but it's not going to work out. Here comes Val now to the inside. She's trying her hardest to get down to the bottom as soon as she can. Because once you get to the middle and top, there is no going to the front. You're going straight to the back. Three laps to, or two laps to go. Can she get down? No, she can't. They're going to be three wide back here. Here comes Eric Darnell. Darnell looking for a win. 
White flag in the air. One more time around. Musgrave out in front. Eric Darnell peeks to the inside. Through one and two. Side by side for the lead. Through turns one and two for the final time. These guys seem to be racing a whole lot slower. I'm not sure if that's just me or not. Darnell to the front. The 30 all over his back bumper. Top on trying to move him up the track. Does he have enough left? Out of turn four. It's going to be Eric Darnell at the stripe. Winning at Texas Motor Speedway. That's going to do it. Wow. Let's look at our points. Hornaday still with a healthy gap, just shy of 200 points over Travis Quapple. That's going to do it. How about uh, Dario Franchitti for the fourth place finish? Nice. That's going to do it. Hope you all enjoyed. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe. We'll see you all next time. Until then, peace.